Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol OBLN. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't even to state the obvious, but I will anyways. A very nice movement today, not only from the price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on the day. So a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's map out some areas of support and resistance going forward. First level of support is what I would call the ideal level when we've stayed, Clay. Would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward. And that would be if the price can stay up there above 64 cents. Now don't get me wrong. If the price falls below 64, I am not saying the entire chart is destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can stay up above that level, that would definitely be a massive sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at things from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line comes into play, the 50 period cent moving average, keyword being moving. As time goes by, that line is gonna eventually start to work its way higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move, that right there being defined as the move, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. How are you gonna visualize that? That is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above 64 would be great, but from the grand scheme of things, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, in the very near term, it's all about the pink line right there, which on my chart denotes the 200 period moving average. You can see right here, yeah, the price did temporarily get up above it, but that didn't last very long. And then after the price fell back below it, price could never quite push back up above it. So at this point, 67 cents is gonna be that near term level of resistance. If the price can push up through there, then yeah, the chart opens back up again and you're not looking at really anything until up in the 70s. But as of right now, at least in my opinion, top priority is, is not really all about breaking levels of resistance. It's more so about ensuring that a healthy consolidation goes, you know, occurs. And again, healthy being, you know, staying up above either the, the 64 cent mark or definitely up above uh, the purple line there. So eventful day, a lot of eyeballs on it. Let's see if the bulls can go through a healthy consolidation or not. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.